to Seat Story Cup number three. Make sure to tell your friends that this is on. We just started today. Had a nice little first match there. We're in one of the yep. groups of death, one of the four groups of death in this round of 16 with four groups in it. Yep. Orange up one, uh, Savis down one. Yep. And uh, right now we're going to go into six up versus Tice, and that's a pretty sick one as well. Um, but before we do that, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at my monitor because there's something you should be doing. What's that? You need to go to facebook.com forward slash take TV. Okay. Well, why, why don't we do that? Well, because, you know, right now on Facebook, you probably like your friends with like your grandmother and people you went to high school with, or maybe you're still in high school and you get stressed when people change their relationship status with you or, or, or remove you. And then, you know, you're looking through old pictures of girl you liked and you accidentally click like on one of them, but it's like from three years ago and that's just really weird. You know what? <laughs> None of that weirdness happens here. Because you just you like take TV. That's really what people do on Facebook. This is what people do on Facebook. Okay. And well, what you can else win can we stuff do on Facebook. Well, you can play Farmville, and that's a fantastic game. But okay. aside from that, Candy Crush Saga—that's the real one. That's the real deal. But in between your Candy Crush Saga games and trying to get me to sign up for Candy Crush Saga, uh, what you can do is enter this raffle. Go, mm -hmm. click this button after you follow, and you can win. Some really awesome stuff. You have to be following Take TV to do this, but you can win these awesome Need for Seat chairs, which apparently I'm getting one of. Yeah, you told me that. Isn't that so sick? Yeah, I'll get one too. They're great. Oh, yeah, big, strong Crip, going to get a seat as well. Well, it's an awesome seat. I was just sitting in one like two minutes before we went like online. Everyone's been sitting in one. Yeah, well, they're all over this place. It's a yeah. great seat, so you want to do that. Nice. Uh, they have a few versions too, then. Like uh, the, the one with the holes is like the small one, and then they have like the yeah, yeah. They have the, like the all sorts up. of different sizes. And I think I think the one on the left there is actually the, the biggest one. The biggest one? I think so. I think you could probably lay this one down and sleep in it like a bed. You actually can sleep in all of them. They just go all the way back. Yeah, they're they're really nice chairs. You can also win, uh, you know, some Kingwin balance. You can win. Uh, Hearthstone packs, you win Here's the Storm beta keys, some awesome uh, Take TV gear. All you have to do is fill this out and hit enter. It's like so ridiculously simple. You don't even commit your soul to it. No, no, there's there's not even like a little thing that you have to read. Well, I guess you, there's this thing, but that's not that bad. Uh, yeah, that's basically transparent. You can yeah. just ignore that. I mean, this is, this is easy. Go enter the raffle and you can win some awesome prizes. And, uh, I know you're not doing much because you're sitting there watching Sea Story Cup right now. So you can you can e very easily go to that that page and uh, enter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you have a need for seat chair? Not yet. You should enter this raffle then. Yeah. Maybe Will you enter the raffle? I need to get my phone. <laughs> we can do that afterwards. Yeah, sure. We got to commentate this match first, but I think you should enter because what if you just won that here? Or you can win a pack and get Dr. Boom. That's true. Become you could get a whole yeah. bunch of dust. Then it goes to DreamHack, win DreamHack. Yeah, <laughs> who, who doesn't have Dr. Boom these days? Basically, if you guys are like wondering how Hearthstone works, is you just buy some packs or you earn them through Arena, and you hit, you hit dust on every single card that isn't Dr. Boom until you can craft Dr. Boom. Yeah, yeah then he's you make pretty much deck around it. Then yeah. you get other cards, the uh, 29. Well, the next cards. card you have to get is a BGH to kill your opponent's Dr. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. if you get him, you might not want to dust him because mm -hmm. you only get half That's price true. dust, right? That's so true. hold on to BGH probably. He's not even half. He's like less, I think. No, no, no. I mean like uh, if you dust BGH to get Boom and then you have to re-dust stuff mm -hmm. to get BGH, then that wasn't really very valuable to dust BGH. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. Looks like we're ready. Some great hand gestures there, Crip. Uh, and this is... All right, here we go. It's going to be Tice against Sixa. And just to go over the decks that they brought real quick here, Sixa brought Warlock, Shaman, Mage, Rogue. Tice brought Paladin, Druid, Mage, Warlock. Sixa has the hand. It's so weird how, like, Ooh. after GVG, I think Mage might be the most right? popular tournament class. Something happened, I think. Sixa took his headset off. He said he's... Oh, he, he, I think he picked a band deck. At least he had a good hand with a bad deck. Yeah, right. I was going to say, I'm like writing down the bands right now. Who's that Maybe, band? maybe that's, what, that's why it was banned. Oh, because of that hand? <laughs> yeah, this this poses some issues because then uh, Sixo has a pretty good idea what uh, Dice, what Dice wanted to open with. with. So this this has to be like kind of like referee called. Yeah, I guess like, that, that actually makes sense. Uh because there's really a lot of thought that goes really into picking hard, like, your first deck. Usually it's given the one zero, but that's like also unfair for the person that's getting on one out. I don't know. It's really difficult. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
I don't know. I think I think you need to be punished a little bit, but yeah, the one zero is a bit harsh. I don't know. You know, one of the things is when stuff like this happens, like because in StarCraft we actually get a lot of people that make little tiny mistakes and might get a warning or something, uh, and almost never is there ever a second warning for a player. I think like, I have a solution actually for this. I have yeah. one too. Yeah, I think we have the the rain ed stick that he used on the pinata. We'll just hand this over to Thice for. 10 Did seconds? you see this video where someone seconds? made it into a lightsaber? I had the better one. It is one. a lightsaber. I have a better one. Someone made a video, though, of that. What? Oh, wow. It's one of our ties. So, okay, so they are going to give Tice the, the, the first. Paladin just won. What would you think if uh, Tice knew what Sixo started with so he can counter and maybe get the one if he knows the matchup best? Mm. Uh, mm. I don't know. One, one is also good. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I haven't actually put a lot of thought into how to how to do a situation like that. But I mean, that's it's like a pretty pretty bad mistake to queue up, yeah, the wrong deck and be able to restart. And the only way you could ever do that is by queuing up the banned deck. So the pressure. Like, I told you the pressure in this tournament. There's like so much pressure. Yeah. Like life coach me Savage six zero cracked up to the pressure. It's it, also it has uh, to be something in there. Pretty air. amazing on a turn zero kill. I mean that that doesn't happen very frequently. No, that was really quick, yeah. Yeah. It sounds Paladin's like something you could... OP. That's a world record. Uh. Not even Atin is that good to get a turn zero kill. <laughs> Who? Atin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to get like a turn one kill some days ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, basically it was a millhouse. Yeah. If, no, if without millhouse. Mil he tried to get like um, four max, and uh, the guy that makes the max into Voltron and then top deck something to buff the Voltron or something like that. <laughs> Wow! I calculated the odds. It was like one out of fifty k or something like so that. So you have to, you have, to, yeah, okay. You have to play like ten days in a row, twenty four hours to get it. Well, no, how lucky. do you, how do you play Memoron's head on turn one? You play it with uh, Mech Warpers, I think, or yeah. Innervates, Innervates. Oh, Innervates! It's really complicated. I so thought it's. it's I guess you need Coin Mech Warper Innervate, right? Like two Mech Warpers and Innervate. So the M Memoron's head is five mana. So with two Mech Warpers, he's three. So the first two Mech Warpers also cost. Three. Mm -hmm. Whatever we we got into so the no. game. Yeah. No, that sounds that sounds not so good. Okay, uh, Sixo is playing the shaman deck, the good shaman deck. Yep. Uh, and and uh, Tice is using mage here. Okay, so uh, mech mage. Now Tice being up one zero, I do want to say that I think that that's going to make Sixa really tilt. Uh, I think he's not the most emotional player that we have at Sea Story Cup, but I think he is. I think you could consider him one of the emotional players. Mm. Sixo has a really good curve. He can I go see, turn I two. I see a very emotional hand about to develop on the board. Wow. Here. Wow. This is going to be really good. Like, I, I don't know what hand is better. Bo both players have if, the... If he gets a two-drop mech, he will have no hand next turn. Oh. Well, he'll have... He'll have the spider no. tank. No, he spider won't. tank is one would mana. He? Oh, yeah. it would be one. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Let's see the top deck. But if he gets a two two mana mech, that's insane. The third mech warper. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man, what a piece of crap. Yeah. It's still okay. You can curve out next turn. But now Sixo is on the counter attack. It's, uh, it's funny. Mech is pretty fun, huh? Look at this. <laughs> You also need to play some mechs if you have Dr. Boom, What guys. if Mech Warper reduces the cost of all mechs by one for both players? For both players. You know what that would turn into? It would turn into back when uh, Eaglehorn Bow went off from either trap. Yeah. And you're Why just you like, hate? well, I don't know. We both have charges forever. I just want to see a two-mana Fell Reaver right now. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be cool. See? Fell Reaver is a really cool Let's just cool put card. it in that perspective. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Crib. I think Fell Reaver is the way to win in this matchup. Mm-hmm. Now Cecil will just probably kill the Mech Warpers. Yeah. This will guarantee him the swing next turn with the free attack weapon. That's With the power sick. mace. And he doesn't lose that much on the board. He can also play Fell Reaver, which is like insane. I still think you attack before playing Fell Reaver to not buff the Fell Reaver because 8-8 eight, eight is enough. Mech yeah. Mage cannot deal with 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Also, milling, you can consider milling not relevant because you can consider the cards you mill as the last cards of your deck and you wouldn't use that anyways unless you deck mm. out. And if you deck out and you win the game, it doesn't matter. If you deck out and you lose the game, you lose because of Fair Reaver. But that happens like one out of ten games where you play Fair Reaver. Yeah. Usually in the ones that you play both Fair Reavers. <laughs> what do you think of trading into the 2-2 two -two 
and then playing Fair River, and then trading 4-4 four, four into 4-4. Four, four. Empty board Fair River cannot be dealt with. Yeah, that would be really sick. Totally agree with that. Mm -hmm. That's the play here, I think. Oh, wait, no. Be yeah, 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 you're right. He can push for face and risk the his one, opponent. The one having... problem with that is you won't be able to attack next turn. No, you will. With a oh, you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. You mean with the the doom hammer? Yeah. What do you What do you think about power mace face and then the mech warper into the snow chugger, then fell river? That's greedy, and also the fell river will die to frostbolt, ping. Yeah. Yeah, but that would be his entire turn, and then you're not frozen. You can play something. Yeah, that's turn. true. And you then you have your uh, hammer out and stuff. I don't think you need to rush the hammer. Fair River is enough damage, anyways. You can just protect Fair River with Anoyatron. Like I think that if you have Fair River, you'd play Anoyatron anyways. And if he has a three mana mech or a two mana or a one mana, if he plays that, he can play them. If not, he just to keep the power mace. Mm. Taish has nothing right now to deal with Sixos pressure. <laughs> Yep. Something feels really good about seeing those cards explode, by the way. Those are three really good cards. When I was Not playing, so much those three, though. When I was playing Fell River decks on ladder, people were meeting me out just to see my deck list. <laughs> when they were losing the game. Yeah. <laughs> Not even kidding. Yeah, I would do that, too. <laughs> it's like uh, drawing your last card when you're about to die. You have one health as Warlock, you hit the, you hit the draw card. Because you want to know. I kind of like the Fell River hitting the 3-4 mech here. Uh, yeah, he's good. You, you protect your Anoyatron, and you also protect the Wind Fury. And uh, not sure if you play Doomhammer or Power Mace. He drew a lot of weapons depends, this game. Depends on the draw. That's like not really, it, not, it, not the top draws from the Shaman, and he's still winning. Yeah. The thing is with Doomhammer, you can get that extra like stealthy hit. Like if you use your Power Mace's second charge, you can then equip Doomhammer and do two damage that same turn, which is kind of unpredictable. Mm. With one rock biter down, I think power mace is probably better. You're right. But Doomhammer he feels better in the mana curve. <coughs> Excuse me. Well he can use all his mana either way. <laughs> Gotta get those totems out, guys. It's true, like if you power mace and totem and cogmaster, next turn you could Doomhammer and Totem. Huh. You can play Doomhammer, attack into the two one scientist, then play the Cogmaster. And then attack face with the free two, attack into the mech with the free two. You attack the Cogmaster, the one to Cogmaster, and you have the eight five that attacks face, and he only your opponent only has what spawns from the shredder. And Sixo is going for that play. Th that's that's the best play, I think. Mm. You clear the board really efficiently. Now you give him a useless car because you attack once into the face, you deal the free damage, and then you clear the four free. And uh. Oh. Well he just wants the six face, I guess. It's all about the face. Yeah. I trade too much. <laughs> huh. Well, I definitely play my hand before killing Fell Reaver. <laughs> really? How, ma how I many think cards? I just kill Fell Reaver. Let's see what I get. Sixo has 11 more cards. Well, no, I mean, you're going to definitely play Spider Tank and Clockwork Gnome oh, before you do right, that. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. You what you do you think those? of playing Spider Tank, pinging your 2 1 to get one more spare part so you can mill Sixo entirely? That, that's Does that mill him entirely? How many cards does he have left? Eleven. Eleven. So, that, oh, and, and that then, mills him then entirely. Then you can actually flip the Fell Reaver at yeah. one. You can be at one eighth. Oh wow! Taish can completely mill six so now. Yeah, that's actually I like that a lot actually. And he can let him with a free two, and a Doom Hammer. I think that's the play. Yeah, because it with what oh. he has left there. He doesn't oh, have doesn't mana. mana no. uh, yeah, well he played. Damn it. You still play the spare part. You want to meal him. I think you play the spare part on a 3-2. First of all, you kill the Fell River, I think. Or do you? No, you, no, you, no, you no. spare part at 3-2. Yeah, you yeah. spare part at 3-2. Yeah. What to do? Yeah, first you see what you have from the... Sh okay, that's good. Oh, you can now pink... Oh. <laughs> Pretty sick. Oh. I don't think we saw a Fell River come down. I think there might be a Fell River in those last two cards. Sick. It doesn't hurt you to Bam! mill cards, Look at right? That. It doesn't hurt you to mill cards. <laughs> I think he still has Dr. Boom, does he? Oh, wow. Well, if he plays Dr. Well, he Boom. Won't. I haven't well, seen his deck sure yet. Why wouldn't you play Dr. Boom in any deck? Because it only makes two max that deal eight damage. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be. This is cray, man. <laughs> it's, really, it's really good now because the second Fell River will not uh, mill you after you already don't have a deck. Yeah. So, Sixo needs to win now, soon. 
And I think he will. Well, it's next turn. Like, what can Thais do? Uh, well, if you can get him to one somehow. Hey, there's Dr. Boom. First time Dr. Boom is not good. No, it's. I think it's fine. I think there's... Um, he just needs to get a freeze from this thing, right? Oh, wait, no, that doesn't even do it. He needs a taunt. Yeah, taunt. he needs the taunt one. A taunt right. one, yeah. What uh, no, no, that's not enough. No, that's not enough, too. Yeah, he's just dead. Wait, no, the taunt one does it. Oh. Because he can taunt Dr. Boom, right? But no. They, oh, wait, they, no. The Domehammer kills the him. Reaver oh, kills crap. It. Yeah. yeah, no, that's just it. Damn. The Man. Fell Six Reaver. 6 with the revenge kill. Revenge? What's he revenge? <laughs> Dice drop, did drop nothing wrong. Match. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Is there any play like with an insane boombot? I don't think I don't see anything. You can't use boombot, you can't ping your own boombot here. Wait a second. Well the last card is Rock Fighter. <laughs> yeah, if it actually the the funniest part of that was that Fell River was the bad card to draw. Because Rock Fighter would have just slain him immediately. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the BM from Sixo. That that's the standard Sixo. Yeah, Sixo well, is always BMing. You, you, you really have to, you really have to keep in mind, like Doctor Boom on turn eight is just a piece of crap. Like, yeah, if he had got him turn seven, he would have won. Yeah, Sixo is abusing every mechanic that this game gives him, and it's really good for a card in my Hearthstone to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> His face is so chill and relaxed. No, that's he looks angry as hell right now. If you ask me, I've known him for a while now, and oh. tell me that's not an angry face. Mm, He's furious. Know. Ty's uh -oh. on their hand is like, God, I can't believe I'm losing this ass. <laughs> Ty's in the, Ty's not is, losing technically. No, it's tied up. It is tied up. Ty's is the most zen person ever. Yeah, yeah, he's like a totally peaceful, cool guy. Mm. Uh, Sixa is evil though. <laughs> I don't think Sixa is evil. No, Sixa is cool. Sixa is cool. Uh, actually, all the Hearthstone guys are cool. Is there any Hearthstone guy that people don't like? Yeah, Ecop. <laughs> and sometimes Raynad. I don't know. I like them both. Yeah, I like them both. Especially Ecop. But I just That's go with the, with the public opinion, you uh, know? Yeah. So what is left for both? Okay. So, uh, well, Tice has like a... Oh, I didn't actually take down what Tice had banned. Um, but anyways, uh, for Sixa, he has to win with Warlock and Rogue. For Tice, he obviously only has to win with two decks. Uh, looks like he's going to remain on Mage. And we're going to see a Warlock here from Sixa. Looks like the Demon, demon Lock. lock. Sixa has the more aggressive, de aggressive Demon Lock version. We saw that yesterday. How do you think that uh, fares against us? Um, demon Lock beats Magmage easily. Okay, and the that Warlock of Tice is actually Maybe not that hand of Magmage. Yeah. That, that's like the hand. That, that is knows how to play Mega Mage. Oh, he's got a Malganus though. <laughs> oh, a five cost Malganus. Sixo doesn't have the best. Pike, battle cry. Sixo needs a PO in the next uh, two cards to do something. It's an SI. SI agent. No PO here. He needs. He has two more draws to get a PO. Agent Ganus. <laughs> Didn't. Let's see. PO or bust. God, this is going fast. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to commentate this yet. Hold on. That's not bad, but yeah, the not game bad. might not go to that. Might be too that's slow. That's actually a bad draw. Taish's hand is the really second fast. second void caller. Taish doesn't have any turn free play, which is not exactly what you want to see. Cecil will probably now Hellfire, so Taish needs to use the spare part, but he will not because he wants it for Antonidas. Yeah. It's like, well played. The BM is real. <laughs> I like the way Sixo is so subtle about BMing. Is that subtle? <laughs> he wants maximum value from the Hellfire. Mm. This Goblin Blast Mage may not turn out that well. No, it's there's definitely possibilities that this goes wrong. Why do you think if it hits four times in the 34? Okay, that was bad. That was really bad. I think he should have actually popped the egg first, to be honest. No, by far. No, no, no. You don't think so? No. Yeah, maybe not. I what? think at this uh, stage, just point those creatures towards the Warlock. Yeah. Hmm. Don't you want the Scientist pop so you can get a secret out? So that you don't draw into another secret? If he draws another secret, he's probably just going to lose, right? Depends. He can draw into another Fireball afterwards. Yeah, that's true. He does the trade, which is pretty good. Yeah, but now we're going to see Bane of Skill, Malganus, buff a 
Doom Guard for Or he plus can get the Blood Imp. Blood Imp. We'll see. Oh, man. Yeah. This is... It's going to be disgusting. Oh, that's not that, that's... bad. That's not quite Malganus yet, but he'll get there in it's a second. Pretty, oh. pretty good, though. That's interesting what on Taisha's to part, too. What to do? Um, mm, he needs more damage to the face. Frostbolt is not enough. I don't see the way Taish can uh, punish 15, 6 though. 16. He can get the mage to 9 with a uh, tap Hellfire. What do you think he's going to go for a tap Hellfire? No. Do. No chance. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> he might be tapping. Because he wants the... Yeah. Well, it, it seemed obvious he had to kill that off. Lotep is probably the play here. Actually, we can just stall the game a little bit more, like maybe even play Healbot. You have so many lines of play with the Demon Lock, that's why it's interesting. I think I like Healbot, yeah. You usually want to play Doomguard when you, or, uh, sorry, Lotep when you want to close the game, and also because of Mirror Entity, you don't want to play it now. Yeah, the best way to play it is when you close the game next turn. Mm. Well then. Throw that spider tank and mirror what entity do? down. Um, do you play spider tank? Yeah. Because spider tank does fine against both those minions, and you have mirror entity now. He needs and a How much mana are we hitting? Seven? So now he can't play Dr. Boom. He needs a mech next turn. Yeah, he needed that Argus uh, off the top there. That's pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good one. Yeah. Something is missing from this turn. The emotes. Hmm. I think Cecil misplayed. <laughs> Definitely a mistake. It's definitely the favorite. There it is! Oh, turn seven. That's good. That's probably not gonna do it. I'm sorry, Equip, to disappoint you. <laughs> the dream is crushed. But it's Dr. Boom! Oh, yeah, man. He's got this. What are you talking about? Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, the boom bot's gonna go into the, the uh, doom guard. It's gonna kill the four four taunt. The other boom bot is gonna hit the uh, doom guard. It's going to kill the uh, the defender of Argus. Okay, huh. well we just fast forwarded one there. <laughs> yeah, but he went to that one to doom guard, which means we have to see a ping now, which is annoying. What to do? Yeti mech. To Yeti do? and the blast. I actually mage. like ping first into the doom guard, then boom bot. Before trading Dr. Boom, you think he'll hit for four into the... Probably. It's yeah. a small chance. You need of to win course. at 33% and then you need to win at uh, 25%. The other play that I kind of like is, is Goblin Blast Mage right now. What to do? What to do? I can get behind Goblin Blast Mage. It was like 7%. Maybe it was worth taking. Uh-oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> This is not good. <laughs> no, it's not. That was not how it that, needed to hit. That Boomba may actually be bad. You got to spare part that Sylvanas right now. Hmm. You can't afford to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, man. No, it, you, no, it's fine. You run the Boomba in. If things go haywire, you have to use Fireball, I guess. It's okay. It's uh, fine. Sylvana still is going to get a lot of value. Yeah, she is. So he still can get lethal with a nice top deck. If not, he can still win Just in the next two turns. Just Lotep, yeah. Okay. Lotep and uh, Void Caller. If he somehow clears the Void Caller, you get Morganis. Do you want to steal the Boom or do you want to steal the. I guess the Boom. Everybody wants Dr. Boom. <laughs> I think Sixo's mouse is broken. I think that Tice probably muted him before the game started. <laughs> yeah. The uh, sad thing with spectator mode that I learned very quickly against, actually, when seeing you play people on ladder, yeah, is that even though you mute them, the person spectating doesn't see this. Like, has no option. Can we to squelch. mute? I don't think so. No, we cannot mute. Yeah, you're right. We can't. Huh. So you have to endure the full onslaught of emotes. Like the best way to deal with somebody that emotes is something really mathematically proven. You mute them, and you emote them too, because if they emote you, they will not mute you. you Where's the math? Wait, you can't spam someone that's muted? If you have someone muted, you can't spam them? Um, I think you can. 
Oh, okay, yeah, because that's what I do. So, for example, the, the play for Taish would be to mute Sixo and emote him back, emote him back. Because Sixo would not mute Taish. Forsen told me that he always emotes people, but he never mutes them. So, versus Forsen, you just mute him and you emote him back. Well, I think if you're the one giving out the emotes, you can't really mute someone because it doesn't make sense. Like, you want to see them cringe. And well, but that's the counter play to that. Hmm. It's really in depth. I had to write a guide on that. Yeah, the thing is, uh, you know, this basically for as far as uh, BMing through emotes, that's basically like last year of standing. It's not like this format. It's a, you know, so you can't really so block now, people. So now Sixo has Rogue versus yeah. Mech Mage and Druid. Druid usually does ro does really good versus Rogue and does so that, does Mech Mage. The way that this uh, went down, that win, does that just mean the Paladin won? Yes. That's Okay, so he yeah. can't even use the Paladin if he wants. Not that he would want to in this match, anyways. It, that is really bad for Sixo because his decks were probably going to crush Paladin. Like, he had Rogue for Paladin, he had Demon Lord for Paladin, and uh, Taish got the free win with the Paladin. I actually think the Paladin has a good chance against the Shaman, doesn't it? Like, if you yeah. get a good equality and they lost most of their deck during <laughs> that. Yeah. Uh, true to Mage, though. And now Taish goes for the favorable matchup for yeah. the Druid one. He's really confident in this matchup. Yeah, and he's a very good Druid player. He also wants to tilt six, though. We should expect some emotes if uh, Taish pulls some combos. Combos look like they're on the rogue side of the board. We see a really important card in Taish's hand, and we see some really good cards in Sixo's hand. It's really hard to play the turn as Sixo. You had that option to keep Prep Sprint, to go mm. like Coin, Shredder into Prep Sprint, or just Coin Prep Sprint into Shredder if you really want to, but that's a little bit too slow versus Druid. You just want the Preps with some spells to clear. Yeah. Sixo has a pretty good hand as a Rogue. Well, Let most of his spells cost zero. <laughs> Let's see if the Archon Boys that's do good as Rogue. Huh. Well, it matters what class you're playing, really. Yeah. Shaman, not, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> Dark on boys like Rogue. Let's see if both yeah. of them uh, manage to win with it. But it's actually a good mentality. Like if everybody thinks me Rogue is bad and they just bring it and tune it a bit, it might actually be good because nobody expects it. Do you think that people were expecting that no one would play Rogue at this tournament? No, that no one. Like for example, me, I expected Rogue at a 20, 30 percent percentage. I think that was about accurate, yeah. Rogue hasn't been, like, super played. Yeah, but if you face that Rogue players, it's not bad for your lineup if you exclude it. You have to exclude something. You do not just counter anything in this format with a ban and four classes. Do you attack here into the 3-2 with your power to set up a swipe next turn? I don't think so. No. That's way too greedy, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just checking. Good. Checked. <laughs> Crip writes that down in his little notebook. <laughs> tips for my next ladder session. Oh, no, I sometimes do that kind of stuff in Arena. Because oh. in Arena, you don't have like card draw and stuff. Yeah. You get a card for free, they just like lose because of it often. Ooh. Harrison is pretty that good about it here. No emoting? That's a misplay. What do emote him? I think that uh, Tice is just too nice a guy. He's not Canadian. You don't have to be Canadian to be nice. <laughs> That's what the internet says. No. Canadians are pretty nice. Which ex it actually... Uh, doesn't make any sense for me, does it? No, it doesn't, because you're not very nice. But you're actually originally from Romania, right? Yeah, I'm okay. from RDU's country. Yeah. Explains a lot, doesn't it? We are both salty. Kind of. I'm not salty. I just got unlucky. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Azidri can get the Eviscerate, pretty easy. Or the Fan of Knives. Yeah. Fan of Knives is actually better than Eviscerate. Mm. Fan of Knives is really good. Hmm. Hmm. Why would you want an Eviscerate? What? To kill the Harrison. Yeah. But that's not super yeah, efficient. Yeah, Fan of Knives is no, just way better. terrible. He's just prep sprinting. Um... Oh, that's, well, that's eviscerate. Yeah. Doesn't help you that much, does it? So many options. I mean, it's it's prepping for... It's like two cards to deal one damage. There you go, one damage. Bam. <laughs> Bam! Oh, that's not a bad one. Yeah, that's kind of crappy. Versus for a two-drop, you think that's crappy? Versus Druid, yes. Yeah. 
you want cards that just impact the board because druids, they're all right with dealing with small, small little dudes. Yeah, I think Taiji is the type of play that will now pressure the engine of lore when he sees that Sixo has a pretty bad hand, and saving double swipe is definitely good. Oh, he wants to go more greedy. Interesting. I like that. You could actually put that in charge mode and just get rid of that thing. Yeah. yeah. Where shall I stand? Uh, nah. Well. But now what about Sapper Bros? You just replay it. Versus Rogue, you have, you'll eventually get something from your your monster sapped, so... Hmm. Why not the Druid of the Claw? You have to play that in town to make the Rogue use all the removals he has. Hmm. But Six only has monsters hmm. in his hand at the moment. He doesn't really have a good way to deal with it. You do backstab, SI, cleave. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's quite good. That's like not enough to kill it. No, but it's getting there. You can hit for one with the with the bot thing too. Annoy a Tron. Hmm. There you mm. go, see? <laughs> no, that card's pretty good. He actually has so many options here. Tarisan? Is that a good option? He's 1-1 one, one of pulling Tauris and Innervate Keeper. Actually, I think the safest play is actually a Force of Nature, but I don't think you really want to do that. Force of Nature just kind of works. Yeah, I do like Force of Nature here. I it do. seems like the cleanest way to to clean this up. I like Force of Nature too. Yeah, and if you look at his hand size and the fact that already a sprint was used, hmm. I mean, actually the hand of... So he still has another spring. Actually, what do you guys boom. think about swipe face, innervate, swipe, SI7, and then trade the 4-1 into the cleave? It's pretty good. It's five face It damage. leaves nothing on the board, though. It's not efficient. Mm. You have to double swipe on turn 8, usually. Oh, this is not efficient either, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> the way Sixo has the board is so annoying. For ties. If you just play that BGH, it's not that good either. You want no. it for the Dr. Boom. Like, I think Sixo has Dr. Boom and Rug in every deck, but I'm not sure. I don't see his decks. I saw some of his games from the other groups yesterday. And I know Firebat has Rug in every deck, so mm. if they're teammates and they got the idea that Rug is the most OP, why not? Oh, is that a Dr. Boom on turn 7? It looks like it is. It's pretty bad, Dr. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good swipe. Top tier swipe. Yeah, but that's... Swipe face, no space. Easy. I think you actually... Uh... <laughs> yeah, swipe yeah. face, PGH. Okay. Laugh for days. Goodbye, Cooper. What? Oh, that's crazy. The survivor. The survivor. And now Sixo needs to deal with the board where he dies. That, that was really unlucky. That was really unlucky from Sixo. Sixo can play the teacher. Sap the BJ is not that great. But it prevents lethal. Yeah. It's man efficient too. <laughs> Certainly is. Now it's really hard for ties. Do you play the Tauri Sun? Yeah. It would be cool if you draw Savage and you play Tauri Sun. We have the full combo. What's wrong with Tauri Like, mm -hmm. you saw how he dealt with that board. It wasn't good. I think you can even Tauri Sun and PGH. Just to yeah. put more crap yeah. on the board. If you know he has Rogue in the Rogue. He, he just have to PGH. What if he has Rogue in the Rogue? Who cares? Eh. I know that... Uh, Ty's studied uh, Sixo's games uh, in depth, so he knows what Sixo runs. I didn't care. I didn't uh, watch them that much, so I don't know. He might Set. have a good reason. There you go. Super <laughs> boys. Savage or top deck is a 22 damage combo for Ty's, but that's really unlikely. Sixo dominates the game at the moment. How unlikely is that? There's 16 in there. It's one in 16. Yeah. Yeah. At the moment, Sixo is the favorite six, to win the, six, the game in the series. Not bad. Yeah. Sixo is the favorite to win the game in the series. Thinking, like, if he wins this, it'll be like a 3 0, I think. Well, 3 1. Yeah, 3 1, yeah. He messed up against Paladin early on. Hmm. Um, 
Hmm. It's really hard to play this turn. You don't know what to expect. Like you're afraid of the Blade Flurry. You're afraid of the Fan of Nights. So Scenarius is not the play. Yeah. Tauri Sun makes their combo cheaper, but what does that help you? I think you played Ancient of Lore to draw for the extra Savage Roar. That's the winning play, I think. Yeah. Because the Rogue cannot kill you that easily from that amount of HP without oil, something else, and Blade Flurry. And the oil has to hit the right target. Because of yeah. the teacher, that's almost impossible. So I think Tyus is going for the draws. What to do? Looks like it. He's thinking about it. Hmm. What can Sixo draw to win the game? Let's calculate a bit. Let's see Blade Flurry. So you play a Psy, and then you... No. Oil Blade Flurry, how much is that? It's 19 damage. No, 20 with the Azure Spell Power. And, oh, that, and that's, that's not Blade Flurry. But that's not Savage or in Taish's hand. Hmm. It's a really complicated game. Yeah, it is. Oh! oh. oh. That's a good draw. No prep, though. Is he no. that good? Hmm. Well, he's got to kill some stuff off. He can use Blade Flurry anyway. What's wrong with Blade Flurry? Blade Flurry SI. There you go. One face, Blade Flurry for three. Wow. SI killed the uh, Ancient Allure. Yeah. And you've got like an insane board still there. Yeah. I like it. There's a big chance he will get the two, two health monster from the Shredder, too. So he could like Blade Flurry and yeah. SI. <laughs> Um, He's doing it. He wants to do like the safer play. That's the safer way to approach it. This one kills everything you, he gets. I, I yeah, as long it. as he doesn't draw Savage Roar. Is it lethal next turn for 6 0? Maybe he tech to Wolf Hunter. It should be Wolf Rider. So, Taish has one draw. Oh! oh there it is! Draw! Wow! wow. Alright, making this a series. And that's the one in 13 out for Taish. Only out. That's oh, you're right about the ancient drew, lore. That's what dug him deep enough to uh, yep. be able to actually win the game. Is this gonna tilt six zero? Maybe. Oh man, where's the emotes? Us with, uh, I don't see How don't much see is emotes. how much is one out of thirteen? Uh, In that percentage, eight percent. It's a little under eight, yeah, just slightly yeah. under eight. So if we play this ten times, six zero yeah, would like already advance. Seven point six percent. Nine of the times. Even more. Mm. That's yep. pretty unlucky. Well, well, he had a very good draw in the beginning too. Looking, um, looking at Sixto's lineup is like probably the most consistent lineup I saw this whole tournament. Mm. I like it a lot. It's super consistent. He didn't bring the classes that can get countered easily. Mm. He was really smart. Yeah, that is true. What do you think counters the the shaman? I don't know. Bad, it's a pretty draws. new deck, right? Bad draws. Just bad draws. I feel like Shaman, if you just lose it, yeah, if you lose the early game, you have no chance of coming back, I especially a lot, with a deck like that. I don't really want to reveal the counters because that mm -hmm. would make it a little bit worse. <laughs> okay. I see. Druid counters it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please play Druid. Druid would just slap that down, no problem. Please play Druids on the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so it's going to be Mage versus Rogue. Mega Mage is usually favorite versus Rogue if the Rogue doesn't have the backstabs or a size. Mm. Sixo has a really spell heavy hand, and if he continues to draw spells, it will not be that good. But we see the SI agent, which is like insane. Yeah, with backstab. Yep. This game can go in so many ways. Like, the Rogue can w turn the game around with the Blade Flurry, the Mage can turn the game around with the Dr. Boom. Or with Antonidas. Mm. And he actually, Tice is playing like the slightly heavier mana curve McMage. Tice is going pretty aggressive. No, it's not going to work though. That backstab going to clean up pretty well. If you play backstab, you cannot have backstab SI. What do you think of just attacking the mech, the mech now? This is what I think yeah. right here. Adding backstab. Without drawing that, I, I might just dagger up and attack the mech and next time backstab SI. Yeah, like, that would have been fine. Not versus the spider tank top deck. No. <laughs> Taish's curve looks decent. Sky Golem is pro probably the worst card because of Sap in this mm. matchup. So Sixo has the edge in this part. Part. 
I'm not really sure in Tyrion. Six's hand, though, is not going to last. Like, he has to draw into something. Like, imagine if he draws, like, yeah. prep next. It yeah, depends. Like, with, it, without a weapon, that hand is nothing. Anything yeah. can happen in this matchup. It's, like, the probably the most 50-50 matchup in Hearthstone. So that's why I said it's a really good way to end the series. Mm. A such intense series. Yeah. That's a good one. I think you always play Tinkertown over Spider Tank. That's, like, no question about it. Yeah. Yeah, you want to mech a bit later uh, for your Blast Mage if you can. Well, it's like one more attack, and you get a chance of playing it now and get a spare part. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? I think for sure you will. Now we can also see like the playstyles of both players. Both can be either aggressive or defensive. They can go for the board wipes or they can go for full face. Mm. There's like we don't know the best way to approach it. Oh. What? All right, he's he's, he's playing it so that mage. yeah. He wants to secure a blast mage, but I'm not sure if I really like that. Like, is blast mage going to win you the game versus rogues? Well, the blast mage, if it hits for two there, oh, that's a nice play. I like that a lot because that actually kind of screws up his whole turn that he just had. Well. I'm not sure if they if they thought of that, if they went that in depth, but Taj might have went for that to make Siso think that he has a Blast Mage, to make Siso sap that so he can play the Sky Golem on turn 6 and get that uh, non-sapped. Non if he did that because of that, Okay, remember that, because if he wins, we're asking him that specifically. I want to know if anyone actually thinks that in depth during the game. It is really hard. You can think in depth, but that, that is too in depth, I think. Because I feel like he did it quick enough that... I'm like, okay, I think this is for the... Because he can set up the Blast Mage. Like, Siso could kill that with an Eviscerate too, but the Eviscerate is awkward on that turn. Now, if, yeah. if that uh, Spider Tank goes down, that's really bad news. Yeah, it really weakens the next turn really severely. Siso is going for the draw, the greedier play. If you got a prep, though, that would have been but amazing. Yeah. I still like yeah. the Hazard Drake. Again, you want Lotte on key turns. A good player like Cesar knows when to play Lotheb uh, perfectly and maximize the value. What to do? Well, mirror what entity. <laughs> Mad scientist, let's do it. That's not Face for one. And now he's stuck with the Tinkerton Technician in hand. No, that, that Tinkerton's coming down. He's not stuck with it at all. No? <laughs> <laughs> That's SI Technician. <laughs> SI Technician! Yeah. <laughs> I like that a lot. Prep, prep was actually the card right after the, the, the Deadly Poison. Never lucky. Mm. Baby Rage. <laughs> Still perfect. Sixo looks to be winning this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's sap. sap. Like at this point, Taj might Yoda the Sky God and we should get sapped. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah, Sixo's, uh, Sixo's been drawn really, really well. Since that pretty, pretty crappy mid game. Yeah. It's all worked out for him. Well, he was rewarding for losing a 1 out of 13 out. Yeah, I suppose. I think you deadly poison hit and even consider blade flurry. I, think I don't think you blade fury here. I think blade flurry is like the best card versus mag mage. Why would you just use it? You don't need to... Because he obviously has nothing. Like with what he's playing right now. Yeah, but Blifery doesn't help you. You can go if for like... six damage. Okay, if you attack once... Seven damage. Seven damage. If you attack once, next time you can start like Blade Flurry, Dagger up again, attack once more, and Blade Flurry again. Oh yeah, you can, you're right, you're right. So you don't need to Blade Flurry now. Mm. It's more consistently like this. I think he's dead, guys. Hmm. I don't see anything. That can get him out of the this. Azure Drake oh. does so much damage. Yeah, it does. Azure Drake is an insane card. If he kills the Azure Drake with Fossil, he's not going to die. But that's not the winning think, play. Yeah, the winning play is Mech Warper into Goblin Blast Mage, and Goblin Blast Mage kills the Azure Drake. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a joke. What do you think of Mech Warper? That is the winning play. Mech Warper into Sky Golem. Does Sixo have Little on board? No, he's too You off. have to imagine that he, that he does. Okay, so. Yeah, that's the winning play. What's the chance? You need to hit a 33% four times in a row. What's that? Nine times nine. A little better than 1%. I wonder. Sure. It'll probably happen, actually, now no, that you say it. It's like way less than 1%. No. How do you, how do you math? How do you even math? It's 1 in 81. That's better than 1%. Yeah, it's 1 divided by... It's, 
I got it for you, man. I got it. Just trust me. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, there we go. Wow. <laughs> Pay attention, class. Pay attention, class. Play flurry. I am ready to. <laughs> Hmm. What can happen here? Yeah, I just got a face. There's no way you die. Certainly not. Oh, and that's not enough. What do we need now? I wonder. Is there any RNG way to get out of this? Pulling Sky Golem was out. I think so. We need the Blast Mage to think that Apprentice is a mech. <laughs> Let's firing. Him. Yeah. Let's bribe the Blast Mage. Yeah. And this is game. Yeah, yeah it is. So it looks like Sixa, despite that uh, a one game loss, that uh, right auto start. Yeah. loss. Yeah, he's going to be able to take it down. Sixa played really good. He wasn't tilted. Mm -hmm. He actually yeah. tried to tilt Taj by, by emoting him. Yeah. Well, let's uh, actually ask him about that. Yeah, Sixos plays insane. He goes play to play his uh, teammate, and Taish drops to the loser bracket to play Savish. Yeah. The only real criticism game. I have is um, he ended up uh, killing his opponent rather than playing Dr. Boom. I thought playing Dr. Boom was always the best play. <laughs> it's better than lethal most of the time. Okay. Maybe we can ask him. Sixa. Uh, okay. Uh, what happened with that first queue up where you got the game yeah, loss? Yeah, I expected him to ban my shaman, so I somehow had like all my decisions made before the bans yeah. and forgot to recheck, so <laughs> it didn't quite work out. So you BM the crap out of him. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, yeah I mean, I gave him a free win. It's like, max BM can't go for more, right? How, right. how is it to lose to a one out of 13 out? It was the only top deck that would win I mean, the game. That's the only way you can win against me. Admin decision and top decks. Like that's some uh -oh. serious shots. Uh oh. That's some serious shots. Wow. Uh, did it tilt you at all that he got the free win with the Paladin deck, especially? Yeah, especially since my mage hand was like Clockwork Gnome and Oyo Oh, it was and, insane. Uh, yeah, th that's why he, I said it. That that's why he banned it because you draw good with Mag Mage. Hmm. Yeah, but it's the same with Shaman. Like you get, get the same starting end with Shaman. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, well. I mainly just like use the modes to like get myself from getting tilted and just tilt him instead. I, I said it, your, your lineup think, is insane. I think overall, uh, Tice played quite well. Like, it really had nothing to do with that. It's just no, uh, it was, the way it ended up, it ended up with you just beating him a bunch of times. I just wanted to BM him so I don't get tilted myself, but yeah. just like distract myself mm. <laughs> after that first game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was, that, game. that was some max BM. I would be very surprised if you weren't muted on his side. Um, well, it felt like you uh, kind of crushed face in that match, despite the, the free loss. How far do you actually think you're going to get in this tournament? Mm. First place. You think you'll yeah. end up winning? Right. Okay. That's nice Well, you got a few games to win until then, and we'll have to see how those turn out. Yeah. You, you won't be able to beat that, that top deck 1 out of 16 lethal if it happens three times back to back, though. No, but <laughs> if I don't pick up a, wrong de a bent deck, I have to get... Top deck three times, not just two times. So <laughs> should be doable. What okay. What about versus Orange? He's your next opponent, right? So how yeah. do you feel going up against I him? I prepared with him. We know each other's decks, and my lineup is favored against this. Okay. So I'm feeling good about that. Okay. Excellent. Do you think your lineup is favored against any lineup? Actually, Forsen's lineup might have been a little favored against mine. He had like. Forsen is out, right? Yeah. 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 Well, he's, yeah. he's like in the, the lineups, poker table. The lineups that are good against mine are like. Lineups that don't get out of group, so I think my decks <laughs> are quite good for this tournament. <laughs> okay. All right, excellent. Well, congratulations. Thanks. Uh, best of luck in the next round. In fact, we're going to go to that pretty quickly here. Yep. Uh, uh, so we're going to jump to a quick commercial break, guys. And when we come back, it's going to be orange against.